Hello and welcome back to Cisco ASAV on Azure video series. In previous video, I talked about Cisco ASAV installation using Azure installation visit. Here in this video, I'll cover Cisco ASAV template deployment. I'll start off with the template deployment use cases. What are the key benefits? What is a template deployment? And then at the end of the video, I will show you a demo on how to deploy Cisco ASAV uh, using a template. So uh, in previous video, when I talked about installation of Cisco ASAV uh, using a wizard, um, uh, at the time of deployment, wizard uh, requested a new resource group. So every time when you create Cisco ASAV using a wizard, it will ask you to create a new resource group. But if requirement is to place an ASA in existing resource group, you need a template. The second use case is if you have already tested uh, a working ASA um, where you have supplied additional attributes like availability set. So um, these kind of um, um, tested uh, templates you can publish with your customers, your partners, so that they can leverage your work as well and they can uh, deploy uh, similar kind of ASAs in their Azure environment. So when I talk about availability set, availability set is the attribute uh, which is required if you place ASA devices behind a load balancer. So if, for an example, if you want to place two ASAs behind a load balancer, both of these uh, those uh, ASAs should be part of the same availability set. And the uh, fourth use case is multiple device deployment. If you want to deploy similar kind of devices um, in a resource group, you can leverage template deployment. So um, before I uh, jump into demo or the uh, portal um, to showcase a demo, I just wanted to share a few things. So I have uh, created a template and uploaded the uh, template on GitHub and added a link to download uh, that script in the description of the video. My uh, script requires you to create um, a resource group beforehand so these items are required um, to be created beforehand uh, before initiating the template deployment. So first uh, thing is uh, resource group. You should have a valid resource group, valid availability set, VNet, subnets. So um, when I talk about subnets, you should have four subnets because our ASAV image uh, is a four NIC image. It requires four uh, subnets uh, to be created under the VNet and then a storage account and need to make sure that there is no conflicting resource name. With this, uh, I'll go ahead and pause this video and uh, uh, quickly go to portal.azure.com and show you how to deploy uh, an ASA uh, using a template. I'm now logged into portal.azure.com and uh, this is a dashboard of Azure. So before I uh, show you deployment of uh, ASAV using a template, I will show you uh, resources that I have uh, in my resource group. So um, this is my uh, resource group HA uh, setup. Under this uh, resource group, I have a couple of uh, ASAs running, ASAV001, ASAV002. I also have uh, an availability set, um, uh, dash AVS name of that uh, availability set is dash AVS and I also have a uh, VNet so if I expand VNet and go to subnets you will see I have four uh, subnets created uh, 4100 slash 24 is management dot one zero is inside two zero is DMZ one three zero is DMZ two so I have um, all the four subnets because these four subnets are required as uh, Cisco ASAV is a four NIC appliance, virtual appliance. I also have my storage account. So um, remember um, um, uh, a few slides ago I told you that my script requires a resource group name, it requires availability set, it requires storage account, it requires a VNet, under VNet, it requires um, uh, four subnets. So I am meeting all the prerequisites. So now I can go back uh, to uh, dashboard and let me take you to templates. 
So this is the place where you can add your templates. So I already have a working template, this one. Uh, using this template, I deployed uh, ASAV001. So I'm going to use the same template. I'll just uh, click here and copy everything. Uh, just to showcase uh, how to create a template, I will just go ahead and click on Add. I will name this template as ASAV003. Um, Cisco ASA V deployment using template plus availability set I'll just click OK I will remove all the options that we have here so now this is my template that I have uh, uploaded in github and uh, link to download this uh, template is also available in description of the video um, also, one important point I uh, would like to um, uh, share with you. So this template that I'm, uh, I have uploaded is using Marketplace image. So there is no need for you to upload a SAV image and then point this uh, um, script to that particular link. Uh, you, this uh, script will automatically pick a Marketplace image that is there on Azure. So things, um, you, you can modify items like uh, whatever is there in the code. So you have description as well. So I am using um, this storage account. I'm deploying ASAV in this uh, um, uh, region. Uh, I'm going to use ASAV-AVS um, as, um, as my availability set. This is the resource group under which my availability set exists. I'm using the existing, so I can also specify new and create a new one at the time of deployment, but for ease of this demo, I'm using the existing items. I'm using uh, VNet001 as my VNet. Here is the resource group under which this uh, VNet is. This is the starting range uh, of uh, the VNet. This is my first subnet. Under this subnet, I'm already using uh, IP address 6061. So um, uh, I'm going to use uh, 62 for this appliance. This is the second subnet, which is inside. I will use 62. Third subnet, and I will use 62. This is the fourth subnet. I'm going to use 62 again. So remember, when you use template, make sure that none of the attributes are overlapping. Because if if any of the attribute is overlapping, um, your deployment will fail. Password, I cannot enter it on the script itself. At the time of deployment, I will enter it manually. This is the username that I'm going to use. And this is name of the appliance that I'm going to use. So uh, I already have ASAV001 deployed. I'm going to deploy ASAV003. This ASAV is going to be deployed on this resource group. This is the type of storage that I have. I have uh, standard uh, storage. You can specify premium storage or whatever the case may be. You, this is the resource group under which my storage account is located. So um, this, uh, you need to uh, pay um, uh, important here. Uh, imp uh, this is the important point. Because if you will use overlapping name for IP address, uh, it's going to show conflict at the time of deployment. Since I'm uh, deploying this as ASAV003, so I'm just changing name of this IP address. I'm going to change uh, public DNS as well for this device. Again, a resource group under which this device is going to be. And I will leave other stuff as default. These are the items uh, which uh, my uh, deployment wizard will use to fetch information from a marketplace image and install it for you. So other options are uh, OK. So I'll just go ahead and leave other options as it is. and. 
click OK. So it will validate my script. Seems like uh, validation succeeded. So I'll just go ahead and click on Add. So I'll just wait for a couple of seconds. Uh, it's now saving the template. So I'll go ahead and click Refresh here now. Now I have this image available here and I will just click open this image and click deploy button. So uh, I just need to specify a few options here again. So I'll specify my resource group under which this device is going. So other stuff is pre-filled because I added uh, it in the script. So um, these items are pre-filled. So no need to worry about these items. Only option is uh, you need to take care of is the um, password. Make sure that you uh, type a complex password. Otherwise, at the time of deployment, you'll get an error message. Your password doesn't meet the complexity requirement and deployment will fail. So other items are fine. Just click this option. Pin to desktop. Click purchase. So now uh, this will validate my script and if uh, everything is fine it's gonna uh, initiate uh, the deployment. You can click here on this page um, to see what are the things uh, going in the background. So this is a good uh, page to see because uh, you can troubleshoot a lot of stuff from here. See it is creating uh, uh, the items. Okay, so you can just see it from here. So we can um, we can let it run for a couple of minutes. So um, I guess from here you can see all the things are uh, turning green. So which means that um, the deployment is uh, going pretty fine. Now it has started deploying uh, my ASAV. So everything is now up. It has the route table availability set. Uh, it has the storage account uh, about the, it has public IP information, management subnet, it has the IP address that I have used and uh, now it is now deploying actual ASA. So uh, this deployment can take up to uh, three to five minutes based on the, um, uh, based on the region in which you are deploying it. So I'll go ahead and pause this video for now and I'll come back once this is deployed. Welcome back and now I uh, just received a message that deployment succeeded so I'll go ahead and click here and if you look at the information here everything is informational and sub uh, deployment is successful. So I'll just go back to dashboard and go to my resource group and click on see more. So uh, we should now have um, ASAV003 I'll click here. This is my new ASA which is deployed using a template. So I'll just copy um, this IP address. I'll go ahead and SSH this device. I'll type yes. I'll type my password for this device. Okay, now I'm in my uh, Cisco ASA. So I, if I do IP here, so I got IP address on management interface. And my next, if I go back to this device and uh, look at the network adapters here, I have these IP addresses given to these interfaces, but this uh, uh, configuration is not there on ASA. So I'm gonna, uh, get, I'm gonna go here, type gig zero slash zero name f inside IP address 10.41.1.62 I'll type no shut interface gig 0 slash 1 is my uh, sec uh, third interface management 0 slash 0 is my first interface uh, gig 0 slash 0 is my second interface. Gig 0 slash 1 is going to be uh, DMZ1. 
I'll type security level 50 IP address 1041 2 dot 62 dot 255 255 0 no shot interface gig 0 slash 2 name f dmz 1 I'm um, sorry uh, I need to name it DMZ2 because uh, DMZ1 is already assigned there security level 51 IP address 10.0.10.41.3.62 no shut now I can do show IP and I can use all these uh, interfaces so with this um, I can, uh, we are at the end of the video of uh, Cisco ASCV deployment uh, on Azure using a template so uh, the first method is to copy template modify it and uh, deploy it directly from there if you have uh, a template that you have already copied you can also um, click new and type template deployment select this page you can also uh, deploy a template from here as well but uh, for ease of uh, um, deployment I generally use the other method um, so with this um, we come to an end of the video um, I hope you enjoyed this one and uh, stay tuned for the next video